creature is too well defended for a straightforward assault. We'll see about that. Oh, okay, that was a bad idea. It is practically invulnerable unless you stun it with a like so. He went down! Dust, would you like a refresher on parrying? Very well. Be careful. Sure, but it sure did run off in a hurry. Wait! <laughs> Let's follow him.
When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down to nothing. If you don't take care of it soon, death is inevitable. I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough! Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later. There he goes. Forget him. Take a look around. There's something horribly wrong with these mushrooms. These aren't mushrooms, Fidget. They are called bubble sprouts, and it would be wise for us to tread lightly around them. They react rather explosively to movement. Wonderful. Hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return.
your transact. on little ones, huh? You will most definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprouts, Dust, or this battle will be over before it begins. <laughs> goes again. You're welcome, kid. Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him and maybe get out of this raining death. Monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. There he is. Your father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. I'm sorry, Mama. Goodness, what would I do if you'd gotten yourself hurt? They jump my fence! Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers! She does see that I can fly, right? I'll be sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. Back! Back, you beast! I got this ear spoon and I ain't afraid to use it! We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bobo? Um, well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. Uh, I'm sorry. We just came down from the surface to... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking, flying weasel cat thing down here. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Wait! That's enough, Bopo! You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again! Mama, I've seen them fight! They even got themselves a talking sword! I bet they could help! Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help! Stop saying that! How's gonna die if we don't do something? Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water. But just a few weeks ago, they dried up to nothing. But that still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that! 
I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too! Mama... I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up, but every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. Um, thanks? So, you're heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. I had you pegged all wrong, stranger. Please, talk to the lady. What? Me? It's a flying cat! <sighs> she's not a cat, little girl. She's a... Oh, I don't even know what she is. I'm not a cat, you dolt! I'm a nimbat! Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, hello! My name's Fidget. Maybe we'd met? Can I hold it? I want it. Just do something! It's trying to grab me with its little child hands! Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, uh, what's your name? Smobop. <laughs> well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Ooh, I want her! She talks! I'll trade you. Look, I've got this box thing. Hey, Dust, look! That must be Reed's box! Hmm. Tell you what, next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew, good idea, Dust. You know, that shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah, maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! You're gonna save her village? What the heck is a mongoose? Quiet, Fidget. And yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the lady's chamber? <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think you're gonna fit through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village. What the heck is a nematode? Anyway, seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but, you know, I got these fat little legs, and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thoughts, but I'll find another way around. Here, boy, take this red resonance jam. It'll open up the basement, and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spiky rocks and thorns. Wait, your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella! What do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut-up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hidden stick? Your what? 
You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement, and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. All right, Blob. If I should come across your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. You don't find my stick? No! Hello, dear. I'm going to hazard a guess that you're the outsider in town. I stand out that much, huh? Well, it's been years since I've seen someone like you. And it's been maybe 30 years since I've seen a nimbat like your friend here. What a treat! We don't like flying into caves. You know, the dark, the cramped spaces, the endless, endless gloom. That's endless, forever. I'm sorry, look at me going on. My name is Flo Hop, and my husband Gappy is up there in the pen minding the sheep. He's been so overworked that I was hoping to make him his favorite stew. But to be honest, I'm having trouble growing red moss with the wells running dry. I think I might have gone and made my last stew. I could always help you find some of that red moss, if you like. Oh, I couldn't bother you for something as silly as that. I know where they used to grow, but with all these monsters about, I dare not leave mud pot. It's no trouble, really. If I come across any, I'll bring them to you. Well, aren't you a sweet one? Red moss clumps grow at the base of the large red mushrooms, and they tend to prefer perfect darkness. Just don't hurt yourself on my account. In fact, take this ring. It'll provide a little bit of light in the darkest of places. Well, good evening, youngin. How does anyone know what time of day it is down here? I hear the two of you are helping out Popa. He's in a bad way. Excuse me, my friends. Hope you don't mind, but I gotta get back to searching. Did you lose something? Actually, I did. I must have left the gate open, because my flock of sheep seems to have gone astray. I'm afraid some of them may have gone past the edge of town. I'll keep my eyes open for them. Well, thank you, son. There's six of them out there somewhere. Believe you me, they're in for a good talking to when I get my hands on them. Yeah, what? Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> 